In this lab, you will study subtractive color mixing. You will deal mainly with three preferred subtractive primaries. They are cyan, magenta and yellow. If you place a magenta filter in front of projectors from the last lab, then you will see that the filter blocks green light. This happens because a filter produces a subtractive primary by absorbing the complementary color. Yellow filter will only allow green and red light to pass through and blocks the blue portion of the light. Magenta filter blocks the green portion of the spectrum and the resulting light contains red and blue light, which the eye perceives as magenta. Similarly, cyan filter absorbs the red light and you perceive the light coming out as being cyan. When you overlap two filters, then only the portion of spectrum which is not absorbed by both the filters is allowed to pass through. Therefore, cyan and magenta will allow blue light to pass through, cyan and yellow will allow green light to pass through, and yellow and magenta will allow red light to go through. From this figure, you can see that each subtractive primary is produced by removing its corresponding additive primary. And that additive primary can be obtained by overlapping the two other filters. R, G and B filters transmit R, G and B light. They absorb their complements just as Y, M and C filters do. Red absorbs B and G, green absorbs B and R and blue absorbs G and R. Here are some of the filters that you will be using. To start the experiment, switch on the halogen lamp and adjust the spectrophotometer to point towards the bright spot. Then place a sheet of paper on the bottom surface of the box. This sheet of white paper will diffusely reflect light, which will then be captured by the spectrophotometer tube. Then on the computer, launch the Spectra Suite software. You will then have to adjust the settings of how you want the information to be displayed. Begin by clicking on manually set the numeric ranges button. Then set the X axis to 400 and maximum to 700 in order to display the visible part of the spectrum. Then after that set the integration time to 30 milliseconds, average to 10 and boxcar also to 10. To set up the reference turn off the lamp and then select the darkened light bulb icon at the top of the screen. Next turn on the lamp and select the lit light bulb. On the top of the screen are the letters S, A, T and R. S shows the spectrum itself, R shows the percentage of light reflected compared to the white reference which we set earlier. After this you will begin your experiment with filters. In the first step you will place neutral density grey filters. When you place the filter in front of the light, these neutral filters subtract equally from the complete spectrum and the amount of transmitted light observed by the spectrophotometer drops. For the next section, we place filters for the additive and subtractive primaries and observe the changes in the transmittance for all the regions of the spectrum. The red filter transmits only red light and similarly green and blue allow green and blue light respectively. You can observe the spectrum obtained to check which portion of light or which color is allowed to go through and which color is subtracted by looking at the displays. Here we have the resulting transmittance curves for additive and their complementary subtractive primaries that is blue and yellow, green and its complementary magenta and lastly red and its complementary cyan. Here we have a photograph of Bascom Hill. When you look at this photograph through a cyan filter then you can observe that the transmittance of red color drops compared to the green and blue colors. This is because cyan subtracts red light. For the next part, you will mix paints and observe the resulting spectrum. Begin by preparing different colors and then place them under the spectrophotometer. You will observe that the paint works in a similar fashion as filters by absorbing some part of the spectrum. The color mixtures in which some portion of light was added will result in non-zero transmitting in all parts of the spectrum. Next, you can also observe the spectrum produced by different light sources. The green spectrum is that of halogen lamp and the red spectrum is that of fluorescent light source.